Okay guys, so uh, today we're going to be trying out something that uh, is different, and nobody's really tried out yet, except one person on YouTube, but I think he's like a representative of uh, Viper, and this is the Viper Rescue uh, software, I've never tried this before at all, so this is going to be the first time, and today we have something special, uh, the website I normally use, which is the Malware Doing Main List, uh, that gives me my malware to test with. Uh, actually, you have a bunch of working websites instead of a few like you see from my normal videos. So, I was actually able to get a bunch of viruses on here, finally, without, uh, in little to no time. And it was like 15, but I think some of the, uh, some of these, uh, Trojans and whatnot deleted itself after it was activated, so, uh, which is okay. Uh, and I had to reactivate some um, of these uh, Trojans and whatnot after uh, running our kill, just to remove the rogues. That's all I didn't want. I mean, still that one, but that's probably because I think I accidentally clicked the wrong thing on one of these viruses right here. Which is okay with me. So, everything should work anyway. As you can see, the website loads up just fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and get. Uh, stops annoying me. Go ahead and go Bing. I'm going to go ahead and search Viper Rescue. Go to their main homepage. And click download. Okay, so here it is. We, we're just going to go ahead and download to our desktop. Now, I think I also activated a uh, DNS changer, so don't be surprised that the internet connection is extremely slow. Uh, but just on the virtual machine, my uh, normal one connection not on the host should be just fine. So, yeah. So while we're laying out that download, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff. The Viper is compared with a command line utility that will scan and clean an infected computer that is so infected that programs cannot be easily run. The Viper rescue programs packaged into a self-extracting executable file, or EXE, that prompts the user for an unpack or installation location, then starts the scanner and performs a deep scan. The user can start the program either by opening it via Windows or from the command line. So I could just go ahead and go to CMD if I can't just double click on it, and if CMD works, which it, for most rogues it won't, because uh, they're, they're that smart. Uh, then uh, you can run from there. And it's pretty much by the same stuff as uh, the actual antivirus, same scanning uh, technique, I guess you want to say. But yeah. Uh, as I see, some people might think this is a rogue just in this big banner. Speed matters, but by one, number one by users and whatever. But Viper is actually a really good uh, antivirus software that I highly recommend people. And but this is the only a one I'd recommend that's you, you can pay for, really. I think all these people voted it really good or a really good rating I should say. So there you go. I love how Retro Hack has a dome mode rating. So, but okay, so the file's still downloading. So let's go ahead, and here it is Viper logo and Rescue 5, I'm 9559. So, okay, wait a minute. Now, since we actually have it running, let me go ahead and activate some of these uh, rogues again. I love, uh, Threat Nuker is just a hilarious, uh, it's, I don't even think really call it a rogue because it's not displaying too many pop-ups, you can just exit out and it's fully exited out, but the database updates 1969, I just find that funny, and of course it doesn't detect anything, so it just gives you a whole bunch of fake stuff, but yeah. 
and it gives you all these stars found and whatnot. So. Like I said, it's still an, a uh, pretty bad product. So, I wouldn't recommend it. But okay, and let me quickly rec uh, turn on Secure Essential Serbia already on there. Fast Antivirus 2011. Which is a pretty nasty uh, rogue. Okay, so there it is. Uh, Secure Essential, I'm going to open that up. There that is. Okay, now it's run Viper. I'm sorry, I just want to get, make sure everything's to, uh, ran. You wish to drag a Viper to your computer? Yes, I do. I will go ahead and unzip that to the folder. It's fine. Okay, so it's scanning for root kits and it's doing a whole bunch of other stuff. So while this is going, uh, I will be right back. Okay, oh, Nana is still scanning, but uh, here's some stuff to point out that it, it looks like a normal command line, but the minute it finds a threat, as you can see, it's finding a lot. It highlights in red, saying threat item and whatnot. Uh, which is kind of cool. I've never seen uh, you, uh, you, then it knows that you can actually change the text color in CMD. Uh, but I guess you can. So I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna pause the scan, and I will be right back. Okay, so it's not done. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and full screen. And as you can see, it cleaned 13 threads. So there you go. And we still get this security central thing, but I'm thinking maybe if I restart, it's gonna clean it everything up. Let's go ahead and do that. And I accidentally us restart, but with uh, updates. So let me go ahead and. Okay, looks like I have to let the update install, so I will be right back again. Okay, so um, <coughs> turning back on after all the Windows updates have been installed. Okay, so uh, at this point we're just here to wait and see if anything shows up. My internet should still uh, be off, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on.
Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer after this thing loads. Okay, got network access. Okay. For some reason, we have a uh, downloading pool. Huh. Well, this isn't good. Let's try opening this way. Well. Now, I'm not getting any virus, so I'm going to try opening up this. And it doesn't want to open, so that's good. I have activated all these and they would, but uh <coughs> I can see it did remove some of these uh, viruses, which is okay. But seem apparently Internet Explorer does not want to open. And that's the only application installed, so we got two things wrong. Either A, uh the virus itself uh decided to delete Internet Explorer on a removal because some virus detect act right before it's about to be removed. Uh, or B, a virus actually got into uh, Internet Explorer and, uh, or not, I mean, let, me, let me rephrase that. Or B, Viper removed uh, the wrong stuff and uh, it pretty much killed, destroyed Internet Explorer. So, right now I'm going to go ahead and quickly run a scan with Malwarebytes and I will be right back when that gets done. Okay, guys, I was unable to uh, run NDAM. I was able to get Internet Explorer open to the point where it's, uh, you, in order to open it fully, you have to go find something that'll open it. Actually, let me grab Combo Fix. Maybe that might actually work. Let me try it. Oh, probably won't. But see, this is all it does. It keeps on going like this. So, uh, yeah, it's probably not going to work. Uh, so my verdict is that my, I'm pretty sure Viper did do this damage, so uh, I'll have to talk, contact Viper because of it, but, uh, you know what, uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys, maybe in the description, if uh, it was Viper or not, uh, but, because I have no idea if it's Viper or if a virus did this. But anyway, guys, thanks, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.